scouting this property here. It's hot and humid in between rains here. But I had a recent question come in, uh, actually about 15 minutes ago. So I want to make this video. And somebody asked about liquid lime. What's my thoughts on it, opinions, observations, if I've ever used it, etc. And I want to start out by saying that I'm not against liquid lime, but it's a band-aid. Any kind of liquid lime product is 100% a band-aid. It is not a long-term solution. It's not a long-term fix to the actual problem. The actual problem is pH issues. You need to add lime to, cor to correct it with long-term uh, benefits. But then even it even comes back to what's how do you you could be adding lime and the pH is still you know comes up goes back down comes up goes back down. You have to get to the root cause of that. Well, what's the root cause of that? Low CEC, low organic matter in the soil. If, if both of those are low, you add lime. That soil can only hold so much. So you're going to be spreading all this lime. pH is going to go up. It's going to go back right back down. You have to continue continuously add lime every single year. So look at your CEC. Look at your organic matter in the soil. Both are low. Consider rotations of buckwheat, sorghum. I mean, just uh, sunflowers, till those back into the soil, help build that up. It's a it's a year-round process to do that. And like I said, I'm not against liquid lime. It does work on quick situations. If you want to plant a fall food plot, you add that lime, calcium. You know, it's going to bring that pH up fairly quickly. But in my opinion, um, I may use it at some point in my life, but it's not a long-term solution. And I'm not about band-aids, um, but I'm also, I'm not against it. So if it's something that you want to consider using, maybe give it a try, check your pH before and after. Um, I think a lot of the liquid limes out there, there's a lot of gimmicks with that. Um, I do think some of your high-end ones, like your agricultural you know, products, are probably your best bet. Um, but that's just my thoughts. I'm a, I like to solve the actual problem with things. It's the same, it's the same with like, uh, for instance, with your health. You know, if you say you have, I'm not a doctor, I'm not making claims, but if you say you have high blood pressure, okay, well, there's a reason why you have high blood pressure, right? It's could be eating, you're eating too much fast food, you're overweight, you're eating just a poor quality diet and you're not getting enough nutrients in your, you know, through your diet to lower, to keep your blood pressure low. So you go to your doctor and you say, hey, what's up? I have high blood pressure. Or the doctor says you have high blood pressure. Take this pill, right? Well, that pill is a Band-Aid. It's not a solution to the actual problem. It's like taking a hammer and you beat your leg with it, right? You beat your knee with your with the hammer and you go to your doctor and say, doc, every time I hit my knee with my this hammer, it hurts. And the doc says, well, stop hitting your knee with a hammer and the problem goes away, right? Same with food plots, guys, same with pH. If you're not fixing the actual problem, you're, it's the, the, solu the problem's always gonna be there. You're just using, you're covering it up with a Band-Aid. And to me, that's just not the proper thing to do. Like I said, I'm not against it, but hopefully this video helps. Give it a try, see what happens, see, what, see your thoughts on it. Um, also, try adding some lime and, and do it the correct way, and also try that, try that out, and let me know how your results are. See you on the next video.